Welcome to our Messy Mondays online program. And today, we're going to be making a green turtle. It's very easy to make, and our turtle can be a mobile or up to wear. I think it looks really, really lovely, don't you? We're going to use paint to colour our green turtle today. So I've brought along some green paint. Now you can use crayon or coloured pencil, whatever you have. And you will need a brush. Blocking in this lovely green paint onto our large circle here, and we'll also be painting the, the little triangle, which is our tail for our turtle. So, and we're going to do the flippers now, and the head and the tail. So, if you can just fold your piece of A5 paper in half, like that, and then in half again. And then open it up, and you'll see one, two, three folds. And we're going to cut along those fold lines. So we have four rectangles, we're just going to place them all together like that. I'm just going to use a crayon and we're going to draw from one point across to the other point a half circle like that. And we're going to now cut that out. For our flipper shape, for our flippers on our turtle. So one, two, three, four flippers. Four flippers, and we also need our little triangle for the tail. And another thing we also need is a circle for the head of our turtle. So just something, a reasonably small circle for the head, just a lid of a jar that you might have. We're just going to go around that. Around that lid and cut that out. So we have a small circle for the head of our turtle, the four flippers and the tail. And we're going to use a, a green crayon to colour those in. So there again, you can just use the side of your crayon. It just makes it a bit faster when you're colouring in on your, on your flippers with this lovely green. So that's one, two. You can take as much time as you like and you can use any kind of paper for making your turtle. You can use recycled paper or old cereal boxes. Anything is good. Our four flippers and the head of our turtle. Nice green head. That's our head and our little tail. Right. Now we're going to glue all of our pieces together for our little turtle. So we're going to start with some PVA glue, but you're welcome to use any glue that you have. Any glue will work with your art project today. So here's our green painted large paper plate, and we're now going to start pasting on all the, the other little small pieces. 
So we'll start with our head with the small circle. If you could just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the circle like that and just paste it onto the top with most of the head peeking out of the, the body of the turtle. And first flipper, just a little bit at the top of it like that. And that's just coming out near the shoulder of your turtle like that. Another little bit of glue at the top of the other flipper on the other side, just on the shoulders of your turtle. And a little bit of glue on the next flipper, which is down towards the, the bottom of your turtle. And a little bit more glue on this next flipper here. And finally, the tail on your turtle. a little bit of glue there on the top of that triangle so that the point of your triangle is pointing downwards like that. So we're almost finished. That's our little turtle so far. And the next step for us is that we're going to be using some black crayon and we're going to be putting some markings on our turtles. Now, the first thing we're going to do is our two eyes. So we're going to put a little circle on the head, just a small circle with another circle around it. All right. And then after that, we're going to do just a little line of circles down the, the body of your turtle. So one, two, three circles down and then some more circles on the side. Lots and lots of circles and lots of small circles on the flippers. And this pattern will make your turtle look just like a real turtle. They have this pattern on their shell, this circular pattern. There we are, maybe just a little bit on the head as well. Not too much. And that's our turtle. Now, just to finish off, we need to punch a little hole with a hole puncher tool. And you're welcome to use any uh, tool that you have that might make a little hole. Maybe you could ask your parents to use a fork or a skewer to punch a little hole. Something like that. And then a little piece of string to thread through the hole. And our turtle is almost finished. Little knot at the end and then you'll be able to wear your turtle as a wonderful necklace or hang it up as a mobile. Here you are. It's finished. Your beautiful turtle, your beautiful green turtle is finished. Have you been to the beach and paddled in the sea? Our song today is Here is the Sea. Here is the sea, the wavy sea. Here is a boat, and here is me. And little turtles, way down below, we go their tails and away they. Go. Our story today is called The Smallest Turtle by Lindley Dodd. Deep in a safe dark hole under the sand lay a nest of turtle eggs. One day they began to hatch. Soon there were dozens of baby turtles, all wriggling together, up through the sand and away. Except the smallest turtle, he was late. All by himself, he scrambled and scrabbled. Up, up, up. And out into the shimmery sun. 
he blinked at the brightness and inside his head he heard strange words. To the sea! To the sea! So away he went, skitter scatter, over a shiny grey rock and past a big black beetle. Around a tree with twisty roots. Down a gravelly hole and up the other side where a sleepy lizard was dozing in the sun. Through some prickly grass where a spider was weaving a web. Can you see the web? The spider's been busy weaving a web. And all the time his head said, to the sea, to the sea. The sun was burning down on the smallest turtle. It made him too hot and it muddled the words in his head. He began to go round and round in circles. He crept into the shade of a big green leaf to cool down. And as he cooled, the words in his head slowly came back again. To the sea, to the sea. So on and on went the smallest turtle, until at last he stopped to rest. He was getting very tired. Suddenly he heard something. It was the sound of waves crashing and hissing on the sand. The words in his head became stronger than ever. To the sea! To the sea! But there was danger. Gulls were wheeling and whirling up in the sky, looking with beady, greedy eyes for a baby turtle lunch. The smallest turtle didn't wait. Down the scorching sand he scrabbled and skittered. Faster, faster, away from the gulls, past the crabs, over the seaweed, over the shells, over the stones, and at last he felt cool, cool water on his hot, tired, sandy body. And as he swam down, 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 he knew. It's the sea, he sang. It's the sea. Well, that's the end of our session today with our green turtle. I hope you've enjoyed making our turtle and the story and the song. We'll see you next time. Bye.